series of four reservoirs. One is a syndicate lake, which obviously is up just for the cab boys. <laughs> Three reservoirs available on a day ticket, and they are part of the Waterside Parks network that Northumbrian Water Control. Roach, perch, gudgeon, skimmers, hybrids, um, and we know that there is one cruise in here. <laughs> um, depths of 10 feet to probably in excess of 30 feet. Uh, in the weeks before we filmed this, there were some good weights um, for Whittle Dean. Being deep and natural, it's not known for mega, mega high, 30, 40 pounds. We had a lot of teen, mid-teens, and I think from memory, there was a couple of 20 pound plus weights in the matches. Now, having the wonderful world of technology that we do these days, we can follow anglers outings, and this last few days, five days, Perch, perch and more perch has been uh, the mainstay here at Whittle, so today could be hard. If the skimmers and the roach don't feed, I would think that the boys, they're probably looking, it could be a four or five pound day. Um, if the skimmers and roach get their heads down, I don't know, 15 pound, 20 pound. One thing we did notice today, getting here, um, Northumbrian water and backwards and forwards with some telehandlers. Big diesel pumps, they're pumping thousands and thousands of litres of water out. Um, so you will hear the pumps a little bit. We've done our best to try and minimise disturbance. Um, that's pretty much it. Let's go and see the boys and see how they're going to get on. Red Reef Deck. Twenty-four, twenty-six foot. Um, I'm gonna have to take a little bit off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be fishing at the bottom of the slope, and hopefully, yeah, uh, pick up them clues and fish that are going around the sides. Yep. So first time here. First time here. Morning. And, and your plan of attack? The plan of attack is I've been kipping up. I'm gonna, um, <laughs> I'm gonna fish a feed. I've, I've plumbed it up, plumbed it up. I've cast a bomb out, and it's about. Say at least 10 seconds at 20 meters, so it's just on a constant slope all the way down. So I'm going to fish 20 meters, 19, 20 meters. I've clipped up, and I'm going to fish. I'm going to put, I don't know, half a dozen feeder falls out, and then cast quite regularly to start with when when, when I do go on the feeder. Um, so here's my rig. It's dead simple. It's just a twisted line. If you can see that, twisted line with a the stop on it and the stop there I can move that up and down to suit bites the self hooking rig or so similar rig to what was at Hugh Reason yeah yep. yeah but I'm, I'm gonna fish a little bit longer hook length today okay so that's just out of the depth the, of the water yeah yeah that that there I've just tied it up I'm, I'm it's, it's, it's no 11 hook length which, which is fine I can swing fishing up one I'm fishing a 14 b520 micro barb and that's, I'm going to fish maggots. I'm going to put some chop worm in me, in me ground bait. First time I've been, uh, apparently we're going to catch skimmers. And late on, if you can really do well on skimmers, apparently. But 
mainly on the pole, so we'll show, uh, show you them there. Oh, that's that rig anyway. What's up in here? This dodgy reel I got a second under blue. Passing no comment. Right. <laughs> so I've got a rig here, which because I've short, I'm waiting for some delivery of uh, number three sections. So I'm having to make do at the moment. I've got a rig, which if I put this on, just bear with me a sec. This is to fish at 11 and a half meters. I've plumbed up. Short, short lash on it. So I'm fishing a gram and a half, just with a uh, Olivet two number eight droppers. Okay. It's so simple. And Six oh. inch hook hook length. I can move my shots up and down, or whatever suit so go on the bottom, or pull it, put it on, pull it oh. on the slope. Because it's and when you're plumbing up, the further you go out, it's just getting deeper and deeper and deeper. I don't think poles long enough to, to reach. And the pole pole that I'm using is. Desky, believe it or not, 1.5 gram. Okay. I can blacken it off if I want. Hook size on the pole rig? Uh, I've, got a, I've got an 808, size 18. Two between the 808 to 012. Okay. To 012. Yeah, which is quite positive for me. I, I, do, I don't mind fishing barbless hooks even when I'm fishing. I, I just love 808. Yeah. Nice strong hook. And then I'm going to fish probably about. Eight meters slightly to my left, and it's top just the top of your pole. It's 0.8 gram, and I'm fishing a few more smaller droppers than these number number eight. Uh, sorry, number tens. Three droppers on. I can, I can shorten this all depending on what part I'm getting. But I'm gonna some, I've got some purple ground bit. I'm gonna fish it like with maggots and catch smaller fish and whatever. Just yep. catch okay. it short. Catch, catch everything it that swims on that yep. one. Perch, yep. ropes, yep. skimmers. And that, like I say, that's a uh, brand new, it's uh, 0.8. Number six elastic through the top. The other ones, I've got a midi eight to 10, but it's set soft. So I'm busy fishing the depth of water, you pull it strike yeah, into a big Yeah, through the water, yeah, okay. So, uh, that's my plan anyway. And, and then I should probably took some maggots down the side, and just try, tell them to be fishing a, a whip, caught a load of perch. So we just, we just, I can even just do that one. I can set that up. Just fish it to hand, just fish it short down here. Like a whip. Super. So that's my plan anyway. Okay. You've been here before, unlike the other two. Yep. Pressure's on you, dear mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Run us through your plan of attack. Okay. Set up. I'll do the feeder after this. I'll set up your feeder if. 20, 25 meters just at the bottom of the slope. Dead forward, got MPWO 10 braid on. Got a short length of fluorocarbon just so me swivel's not running on the braid. I'm just set up helicopter style. Got a small, small cage feeder and a 014 fluorocarbon hook length to the 14 Guru feeder special hook. Then I've got I've got a pole line at 13 metres. I've got MPW 68 Supercore, just in case any skimmers come. Got a 1.25 Gloucester. O13 main line, down to the Olivet Bull, three number eight droppers. Got no 10 fluorocarbon hook length and a size 16 Guru pole special hook. Okay. Also set up another rig for out there, just in case there's more rules. That's just MEW solid five plus elastic. A one gram Gloucester this time, and that's just spread bulk, spread shot instead of all of the. Okay, so just going through the water, yeah. Yeah, and that's set about six inch off bottom. Right. Okay, doke. Got a whip line set up, four meter whip line just for perch the first half hour. That's and we're fishing that waggler style, yeah? Yeah, just a John Bull whip waggler. 
and then I've just got spread shot down down the line, but I've doubled it up just to get it down that little bit. Okay. Up. And the same with Glen 4, 10 fluorocarbon at the 16 Guru Pro Special. Super duper. Awesome, mate. Right, John. So, first thoughts on Whittle Dean. It looks nice. Uh, the breeze is nice. Let's hope that sun stays in a little bit. I think with these conditions, we might do okay today. Um, it's my first time here. Never seen the place before. Don't know what the stocking's like. I've heard there's some skimmers in, some roach, uh, a lot of perch along the edges. Today's swim, it's a bit like a damn wall. Basically, it's all concrete blocks. It's sloping away drastically. Um, you move a foot out, it goes down two foot. Um, today's rigs, I've got a short whip line at five meters um, with a desk with a desky one float with an olivet and three droppers. That's just for down the edge at five meters. Uh, I'll put a little bit of ground bait in there. I'll probably go with a fish meal ground bait down there because there's quite a bit of, bit of perch down there, there's perch down there and stuff. So it'll be a little bit of fish meal ground bait with some chop worm, a bit of caster. Not going to put much loose feed maggot in at the present moment because I don't want to overfeed perch they can, they can gorge themselves. Um, I've got two rigs today for fishing 13 metres out. Again, this is a desky float, uh, it's a pencil this time. Fishing this a little bit kinkier. It's a one gram float, but I've shotted it with number eight shot from three quarters of the way down, all the way down to my yoke length where I have two number 10 droppers on my yoke length. And hook length size? Hook length is a 010 fluorocarbon. Um, that's my kinky rig today. Um, I've got a little bit more positive rig on this one. Same depth, it's a good 12 foot. This is a desky one with a bodied float. It's a bodied float. I haven't gone down the same route as the other lads, I don't think. I think the other lads are using Olivets. I've gone down with shot. Again, bottom, bottom quarter of the rig is shotted with number number six shot uh, down to two number eights and the rest are number tens just for that slower fall and hook length same as the other rig the hook length is, ex is exactly the same it's all 10 fluorocarbon okay and what what size hooks are we on on the pole rigs on the pole rigs i'm using the a, uh, a guru match and that's just an 18 on my positive rig um, and i've got a 20 tubertini on the lighter rig. Okay. The lighter rig. Okay. I've also also done a feeder rig today. Obviously, there's a bomb on there because there's a feeder a feeder going on, a bait up feeder. Again, it's just a twizzle boom, five inches of twizzle boom, um, quick connection, and then all 14 hoop length. I've got a little bit bigger hook. It's the same match, a guru match style hook, but this is a 14. Because I'm open to fish pieces of worm on that and maybe tip with a maggot or a pinky and hopefully, hopefully catch some skimmers on that. And that's fished at about 25 yards. And what kind of depth have we got at that 25 yards for the viewers? It's about 24 foot deep, but it is levelled out. I've gone out a bit further and it's still the count of 14 all the way out. So I've come a little bit closer in, so I'm fishing closer to the, the bottom of the slope. Are we on single maggot, Kev, or double? Triple. Triple maggot. Yeah. Visual thing, isn't it? Clear weather, isn't it? 
Yes. Stamp that, it? That was on the drop, that wasn't it? Hadn't quite settled. Or it just hit bottom. Just, just hit bottom. Yeah. Nice bite, mine, wasn't it? Perfect. And another. Another nice roach. Oh, not the old hooking net. Yes. Look at that, lovely. Amorphous. Yes. Connoisseur. Oh, connoisseur. Yeah, Lovely bite that. Hey. Lovely from here, being yeah. low. Not very big one, is it? Good in. But it shows you all can, doesn't it? Absolutely. On Gudgeon, Gobies. So just for the viewers at home, what have we got on the side tray? We've got dead maggots, live maggots. Castors, maggots, floating maggots. Floating maggots, yeah. Yeah. I've got some worms that I put your worms in. Four roach and a perch. And a perch. Just on maggot? I've had two on maggot, two and a couple on worm. It was weak because first casting got fish, second casting got fish, third casting got fish, fourth casting missed a bite, fifth cast got a bite, uh, fish. And then the sixth cast, I went out, and as it was dropping through the water, the rod just got dragged off the rest. And I've had another bite since. <laughs> Trout bite. Is that just loose feed over your short line, John, you're doing there, yeah? Right, it's a 13 metre line now. I'm feeding a little bit short on it, because everything's just going to drop through the water. It's going to drop through an angle and all, isn't it? So... I'm in line with like that red boy across there, so my feed is going onto that red line, and my 13 metre line is going directly on there, but I'm expecting to catch to the left of it. So the pole tip will be on the on the uh, on the red boy there. Mm -hmm. 
but my floor will be, floor will be probably yeah. half a metre to, to the left. Being low speed a little tiny bit back. Right, first look on the whip line, yeah? Yep. Yeah. It's that nice, that floor, isn't it? Pardon? Lovely break, no? Lovely, yeah. Straight in the top lip. A solid fish, that. First look on the long pole for Cal. Chunky perch. So, chunky perch first put in Cal. Yep. Single maggot, double maggot, what we on? Single red. Single red. And are we just touching bottom on this line? Um, couple inches over there. Over. Ah, there's a fish again.
we on single maggot on the pole or? At the moment, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've actually started getting bites. I've swung past me, me, uh, me stuff. Yeah. So it's off the deck. I've got, fucking, I've got a rope straight away, like. But. So I shall have me wriggle. I'm going to get a bite. So, so then I've gone back to depth again and I've put a floating maggot on in four bites instantly. Yeah. But I don't know. I just couldn't hit them. So I've come back on a single normal maggot again. Obviously, if I've refed, they probably suckle on my stuff a bit like that. Yeah. And then because you're talking to me, you missed that bite. Sorry? And then because you're talking to me, you missed that bite. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine as wide. What that means is damn cameraman. No, beep, beep, beep. Bad looking cameraman, really. Seen better looking ones, right? <laughs> I love my ambassadors, mate. <laughs> Apart from Ratman up there. Ratman. We just have to put up with him. Piper of uh, Stoke, Stokesley. He is. <laughs> yeah. It's 37 year old John Milliken. He was 37 in about 1922. I know that. He keeps telling everyone he's 49, and I think he's been 48 for about 22 years. Sixty-four, I think. I can't perch or whatever. It doesn't matter, does it? Does it no. It just gets better in a bit. I'll refeed again in a minute. So, I think. so have you put any more feed in since your initial? Yeah. I've put one you have. In, yeah. 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 A bit of chopped worm in, but. And did you get fish instant off that? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I seem to be getting more bites now. Birch they are. It's one of them where you leave them under for a couple of seconds and then strike. Yeah. Master, master. Did the feeder line die off then, Kev? Did it? Sorry? Did your feeder yeah. line die? Just getting the old bites off, wouldn't you? Just started like that settle and I think it's back off. It's that clear, the water. Until you get a certain amount of number of fish there, they Paul sock. <laughs> it's just, it was a pretty quick bite, mine, wasn't it? Yeah, it was proper 
that added, there were no... I'm all missing the bolt. No messing I'm mad. I'm just gonna, have you got your landing net there just before you go out, mate? Can you just brick them two, two or three down for me? Yeah, I'll pull them out for you. Perfect. Perfectly yoked. Mm. Sure, somebody told me in the shop it was going to be six mile an hour winds yesterday. I'm sure there's a fella that looks like you in my shop. I think they're off bottom, Kev. Back over the feed. Yeah. Oh. Can we 
You're looking for an instant response, yep. I'd say so, yeah. But, uh, obviously, feeding on them, it's just way trying to make the feed where I want it. Ah, she was getting a bit tasty before, wasn't she, that wind? Yes, yeah, so it was just starting to get a bit brisk. Speaking of wind... Fed eh? and in our refeed bowl, did we have worm or was it just ground bait we, we topped up with? Sorry? When we refed, I just put casters in it. Just casters? Yeah. And we've had a perch and a gudgeon since the refeed. It'll be fine. It'll bring the roach. I want to see who gets a skimmer. It like actually lands. Yeah. Not hooks one and drops one off, Milligan. Stimulus. Interesting. A gudgeon, a roach, a gudgeon. I like what you mean. Can't beat a good gudgeon. Can't beat what a roach. Can't beat a good gudgeon.
podcast. <laughs> Gudgeon! Cast a gudgeon. Three in a row. Three good gin in a row. You know what that is, don't you? Triple, triple good goby. See that force, slight rig adjustment. stuff this fella Kinky rig. Yeah, it's literally just struck through the water, gets to the bottom, goes straight under. But like, there's no size to it. If you go on a heavy rig, you don't get a bite. Single maggot up here. of the camera.
getting lunch. He was getting runs. Then his fish would stop, refed, perch, gudgeon, perch, gudgeon, getting a few roach. Yeah, I've had a roach now, now for, well, since the one on the last one on the feeder. Yeah. I've turned it on the whip. All I've had is perch. Have you rod dragged in again on the tip? You've been back on the feeder since I left you last. Yeah. Yeah. Had two more, uh, three more perch, uh, two or three perch. Oh, and the, and the big pull. No need for that, man. The ginger Jonah. Haven't affected you? Oh, yeah. What am I catching, though? Fish. Are you daft? feeding a lot of empathy. Oh. We're going in with a more positive one now, yeah?
walking on the ground further. No. Put a cast on, you don't get a bite at all. <laughs> and Kev was catching on caster. Was he? Yeah. Clear, isn't it? Try a bigger blue. What are we on this time? Double maggot. Double maggot.
Yeah, I can't kill you. I need to one magnet now, can't get a bite. Can't on the bottom it goes under. No bigger stamp? No, doesn't matter. Good God. Send it back out again. So this place has got me beat at the moment. Got a fish on. <laughs> I did wonder the way your float was going when you were shipping out there. The perch picked it up, hadn't it? How many fish do you think you've got now? Come on, mate. No. 50? Yeah. For about a pound. <laughs> How much is that? 
I have got decent ropes, don't I? So that's bumped my weight. I still bumped my weight. Yeah, yeah, I've been here when 30 fish would have you some section money. She can be a cruel mistress at times, this place. Like I say, there's times when she's coloured. 25 to 30 pound off that same peg. But we can have back to the Thursday run. Yeah. Skimmers, roach, little hybrids. I think you've got about five fish at the minute, haven't you? Oh, they've never repair of eyes, haven't they? Yeah, just one ball. Laced with anything or just neat ground bait? No, caster and a few maggots, but mainly caster. Out and about. Oh, no, maybe in that, that silly cutie thing. How do you call them? Grebe. Grebe. Oh, yeah. Cap catching. Just lose food and mug at that.
say I just left it in. Nice bite that wasn't it. Let's go up. See how clear the water is, can't you? Nice to finish off with a few. Good load of worm in. Now we always put the big feeder on. Aye. Oh, just filled it full of worm out. One full of mice in there. Two full of Is that a double maggot? Two chucks of Oh no! Oh, 
myself enough of that road today. Really? This is proper scratching, isn't it? Three, one and a half. Three pound. There you go. Yeah, I'll tell you what, on the drone is much as it is. Throw that skimmer in that roach up, Gal, if you can. You see him throw a skimmer back? Cheers, buddy.